record-breaking New York City Marathon and some of the special moments for runners. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Moore. It was a picture perfect day for the roughly 50,000 runners who took part in the race. Across all five boroughs, thousands of New Yorkers lined the marathon route, ringing cowbells and cheering in support. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger is in Central Park, bringing us some of the amazing stories of people who crossed the finish line. A massive triumph for tens of thousands of athletes who have spent months training for this big day. From the start on Staten Island all the way to the finish line in Central Park, excited spectators with hoarse voices cheered nonstop. I'm really excited to be out there and, and feel the, the energy from the crowd and, and all of my, my family and friends who are, who are supporting me. Tamirat Tola from Ethiopia won the men's race in two hours, four minutes, and 58 seconds. It's his first TCS New York City Marathon on title and he broke a 12 year record. I work hard training so it is confidence for me. The women's race was dominated by Helen Obiri from Kenya with two hours, 27 minutes, 23 seconds. My first debut here was terrible for me. And I said like I don't want to come back here next year. <laughs> After that I said wow I'm here again. While even participating in the 26.2 mile race is a big feat, the open division men's and women's first place finishers receive $100,000 each. But for some runners, the marathon also brought a personal victory. <laughs> Runner Vanessa Martin stopped at mile 18 with the ultimate surprise for her girlfriend, Joya Alaperti. It was crazy. She went down on one knee on the street of the court. <laughs> Um, I fell to the ground. I dropped my phone. Yeah. Um, and then I shaked for about 30 minutes afterwards. The couple from Long Island City has been together for five years and met at a fitness class. Figured what better day, the best day in New York City, in the city that we live and love, to do it. This family of apple farmers from upstate New York came to support their husband and dad, Doug Grout, who's running with the New York Apple Association. He just felt like it was really important to kind of rally everybody together and really represent farming. I think he knows this was his finish line, where his family is. Exhausted but proud, the reunion at the end is worth it. It's my fourth one. I ran my first one with my mom in 2019 and got the bug. The Big Apples Marathon is the biggest and boldest in the world, widely considered the most anticipated annual sporting event in the city. In Central Park, Hannah Klieger, CBS 2 News. How great was that engagement? Congratulations. And for a full list of winners and more marathon coverage, you can head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.